Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article comes to you guys from The Muttley Fool. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So as I discussed in the previous video, Verizon is keeping their hands very close to that pricing lever. And they have pulled it a few times already. So Verizon's 6.5% yielding dividend continues to grow stronger. So if they plan on increasing that dividend, which they usually do on, on a quarterly basis, they have to find growth in the financials somewhere. And so far up until this point, the last few quarters or last few years even, it's come by the way of price increases. Anytime you see service revenue going up 3.5%, if they are able to increase free cash flow for the year, or they produce higher end revenue, it's because they've been increasing the prices on the legacy plans. So let's check here briefly. So Verizon offers a big time dividend. The telecom giants payout is on an increasingly sustainable foundation with further, fi further financial improvement ahead. Verizon should be able to continue increasing its dividend. So up until this point, and I think that's something that they also point out in this article as well. They have been consistently increasing the price. And my opinion, you guys have heard, and that's just my opinion. You can call it speculation. They're going to increase pricing again because they have not been able to strike a balance. They have not been able to consistently grow the consumer base. So they're having to raise price. It's really that simple. So... For you, the Verizon consumer that's on the legacy plan, if they continue increasing the pricing, right, in the current economy that we're in, what are you going to do? You know, that's a question for you guys, right? If you're on a Verizon plan and the Verizon network, you've likely joined Verizon because perception, they are perceived to have the best network, so you're likely willing to pay that price. But even for you, when is enough enough? You know, if they keep pulling the pricing lever, when are you going to say, OK, this is getting a little bit too much. Let me look at another option. Right. And there are a lot of alternatives out there to be an on the Verizon network, but not pay Verizon prices. There's a lot. There's total by Verizon visible. There's all these MVNOs, cable players. And yes, you might get lower priority, but you're still on the Verizon network. So it's still the, the, the coverage that you're relying on, the reliability, whatever it is you can still be on the Verizon network, like I said, for a lower cost. So that's Verizon's problem right now. They have been able to consistently achieve their financial targets, their free cash flow. They have been able to raise dividend. So the market is expecting that of Verizon. Verizon on the other end has only been able up until this point to achieve that increase by raising price. So that's that's I think that's a problem for Verizon moving forward. They need to be able to strike a balance. They need to be able to grow enough on the consumer side to where they can say, you know, this year we don't need to raise price. We're growing at a sustainable pace. We have newer pricing in the market today that's a little bit more, right? The my uh, the my plan, they no longer have to subsidize f the full cost of the of the perk. So this year, we don't have to raise price. We'll do it next year, right? Every other year, whatever the case, right? That's how you strike that balance. Verizon today does not have that balance. They're just straight increasing prices. Um, and they're going to do it probably again next year, early next year. And then he, that's how you increase the yielding dividend, right? You do it by price increases. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if when 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 is enough enough for you or are you going to continue to pay Verizon price increases? Let us know in the comments. Just wanted to point that out. And until something drastically changes, Verizon will continue to increase pricing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See you all in the next one. Peace.